and I did exact the same with the, the right bottom. So I drill this hole in there and I made this little hole in there for the iron plate. And we are gonna make this one smaller. So we, we know exactly where the, if we turn where this magnet is coming. But this one, we, we don't we need this place over here for, for another thing. So we gonna drag this in. So you know we select it in the pull mode, select it, and we push it in for four. So only 2.5 is left or 1.5. It's, it's, it's gonna be a very small uh, plane. And the same we do with the with this plate over here. And we're gonna lift up for 1.5. So we have left for 1.5. It's a very tiny place to put an iron in, but better some little bit iron than nothing, right? Because we're gonna draw something here. And the same we do with the left bottom. So we select it, but now we are not gonna do it with the pull tool, but with the move tool. With the move tool, you also can close at uh, close holes and edges. So if we only select this face and we pull on the blue line, then it's closing as well. You see, it works exactly the same. If you only select one face, if you select the whole object, you move the object. But if you select one face, you move the face, and everything fills. Three point five, and we take this one. So we select that one, and we do the same action, and we drag it until we have. Uh, for 1.5 to connect the top with the bottom we have to make a joint and we make the female part of the joint in this face so we select this face and we select and view and over here you can now you can turn it and we turn it two more times see that i'll put it in the middle now we're ready to work on it and uh, we're gonna draw a line and we just draw the line as we like it and we make the line with a height of 12 we have all this, all the, and we put the move tool on it. We want to, to center the line six and a half from this edge, so six point five from here, uh, plus one of the emptiness is seven point five, so seven point five enter. We're gonna draw another line. Same spot. And we give this a height of 8. We do the same. Place the move to a it. And we place it for 9. 10. So 9 out of from the edge till here is 9. Plus 1 of is 10. So, 1, 0, enter. Nice. What we do next is we select another line and we make this one 1.75. 1, enter. And then we go up for four 
and we close the line which is a 4.25 and as you see so this if we copy this and place it here you will see that it's above the iron plate for the magnet right this is on the red and this one is below so what we do is we go to the to the home and select the pull tool and we select this new draw thing next we select this tool and put it on the line on this line so we made a midpoint from it and what we do next is we, we start turning so we what we did we made a hole in it to put the joint in and the same thing we do on the on the right bottom select this one and view and we turn it zoom in and with a line and we give it a height of 12 enter of to 7.5 enter another line eight move to and seven eight then we select the oh we made this one shorter I see the for one point seven five one point seven five go up for four and close it with 425 go to home view select the pull tool select it so you see better what we do select this line and we scrape it out all the way 